Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we have something special down here at Birdland this evening. Harry and Janet, their love connection date was a match made in heaven. <laughs> What did you think uh, when you first met, Terry? Well, it was just something that came out of the blue. I mean, I was new in L.A. I came from a small town in Connecticut. And uh, it was exciting to be in L.A. So I picked up the L.A. Times. I was going through the classifieds. I said, wow, look at all this great stuff. Love connection. Go out on a date, talk about it to the host. That seems easy enough. So I went out on it. Come sit down. Now, you're originally from Connecticut, right? right. How long have you been here? Only eight months. Are the, are the women uh, here in Los Angeles much different mm, than the women yes. in Connecticut? The women out here are rich cream colored, walnut tinted, coconut brown. <laughs> Honey gold complexion and very shapely, just sweet enough to eat, you know? And I just. Well, you must not. <laughs> yeah, for a while. Probably never go back to Connecticut again. No, from this when, I, when I first got out here, the women had my head turning like I was like going like this, you know? I had a crick in my head. Really? <laughs> I went to the interview. Uh, the interview took a series of a couple of weeks, and uh, finally they gave me three tapes of the uh, prospective women I was about to go out with. Right. And they take me to a little small office where they had a, a television and a VCR and say, well, these are the three tapes. Here are the questionnaires. You know, go from there. And the first tape that I popped in happened to be Janet. Let's take a look at the women that Terry had to choose from. Now, remember, you're going to pick the woman that you think's best for him. The first was Janet. Janet rates herself a nine. She says she's a bit old-fashioned. And she dates about once a week. Here's a typical date for Janet. We go out and have a good time, have a lot of fun and everything. But then most guys my age or age try to be too serious. You know, they're not relaxed. They think that a, a girl, you know, is trying to marry them or something. This is interesting. She looks really nice. Was a little intimidating because she's very beautiful. And I was saying, wow, she, I bet she knows a lot of guys. I said, I may not have a chance with her, you know, so... See, they love you know, that. Just, listen, listen, I bowled one of the worst games I ever bowled. What, you were nervous? I was really nervous because yeah. I felt that she was staring at my back, you know, and it, like, threw me all off. You know? So she won the first game. I really don't officially think she won the game because... Uh, every time she would bend over and release that ball, I just, like, lose count of the score. <laughs> If you take a look here, she had small ankles. Small <laughs> ankles? <laughs> no, well, well, weird. Hold on. Obviously, <laughs> wait a the first thing I saw in Connie Chunk were, were small <laughs> ankles. No, wait a minute. What I envisioned is her in a long maternity gown, about eight months ago. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No. Ben, and you look down and you see those small ankles supporting the whole thing. Now that's sexy. Hi. I just wanted to make a comment. The gentleman in the blue. He's the guy that women are looking for. He's honest. He's Terry. sincere. Terry. Right. Yes. Right. Even, even a comment about her ankles. It was about from her. It was, it was from her. It was fun. The ankle comment is from his heart. Yes. Janet and I have been married for six years now. Six years. <laughs> Let's see the product of this youth.